It pitted Eric the Kid Stoner, a young up-and-coming poker player hoping to make a name for himself, against Lancey the Man Howard, a well-established player widely regarded to be the best, a wily veteran gambler. And the film ended on a massive, highly improbable cooler. Norman Jewison's 1965 classic, The Cincinnati Kid, today on High Roller Radio. Written by Ring Lardner and Terry Southern, directed by Jewison, and starring Steve McQueen and Edward G. Robinson, McQueen the Kid, Robinson the Man. For his part, Jewison called it his ugly duckling film, the one that allowed him to transition from comedy to more serious projects. The movie is chock full of poker, cheating, and cons, and it all comes down to one hand. But first, is there any bigger cooler in poker history than the beat Jonathan Duhamel put on Matt Affleck on his way to the 2010 world title? Remember the Canadian straight left Affleck in tears? Or how about more recently, 2016, Griffin Benger versus the talkative William Kasouf in the main event, 15 players left, aces versus kings, and some high drama. Well, maybe the kid versus the man takes the cake. With Lady Fingers Your Dealer, five card stud, the kid is showing Ace Ace 10 10. The man is showing the Eight of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, Ten of Diamonds, and Nine of Diamonds. A series of bets occur, then re raises. Finally, the kid goes all in for his last 3,500. The man calmly reaches into his wallet and makes it 5,000 more. He agrees to a marker, and then they show their cards. A third ace for the kid. Aces full of tens. But the man rolls over the jack of diamonds. A one-outer for the queen high straight flush. Bad beat. And to make matters worse, as he exits the building, as the film is ending, the kid, Steve McQueen, loses a penny pitch closest to the wall to the shoeshine boy outside. Now, how likely is that final hand to come up? Not very. The nature of the hand is discussed in great detail in Anthony Holden's legendary book, Big Deal. Holden suggesting the odds against any full house losing to any straight flush in a two-handed game are 45,102,781 to 1. He adds the odds against that particular final hand are astronomical because both hands included a 10. He states the chances of both such hands appearing in one deal are a laughable 332 billion to one against. And he goes on, quote, if these two played 50 hands of stud an hour, eight hours a day, five days a week, the situation would arise about once every 443 years. Bad beat indeed. Good movie, The Cincinnati Kid, today on High Roller Radio.